everyone, it's Faye Ray, and I have a project I'd like to show you. This is uh, my version of Laura from Following the pa Follow the Paper Trail Three Ring Mini Binder. And she does a great tutorial. Uh, Laura comes up with the neatest ideas and projects. So um, this is my version of her um, uh, Three Ring Mini Book. And what I did was I used um, a number of different paper collections. I'm not sure what the name of this collection is. But on the front here I used a Sizzix pocket die. And I cut that out using some um, glitter uh, paper. And the title of my mini is Pocket Full Of. And I also used the Sizzix, uh, the stamp combo, the largest frame. I added dew drops to the corners. I also adhered some little note cards inside the pocket. And I randomly placed more dew drops on some of the flowers. And this is just a, a piece of tool that I got in um, a rack. From one of my um, sock sisters on the binding or on the back side here of course you know on that tutorial the binder rings go inside and also they extend on the outside so you can attach your ribbons there now on the inside as you can see it looks like a binder I attached a, a ticket shape that I cut with my uh, gypsy. That was a file from one of the ladies from the Cricut message board. And each of these pockets is made from a number 10 envelope. And you adhere pattern paper to the envelope. And also each envelope has a photo mat that goes in slides in and out and also each envelope or pocket try to get that back in has a flap so as you turn the page there's a flap there let me move some of these things okay so there's an opportunity to place a picture here a picture here open the flap you can also place a picture here as well as here so there are about one two three four I use five envelope pockets and here's the next pocket and it has a photo mat and a flap and I adhered another Sizzix die the vine to this so you could put a small picture here and a small picture here and then here's the flap and here's another pocket, and here's the photo mat for that, and the flap photo mat, and another pocket and a photo mat, and a flap pocket photo mat. And as you can see, the photo mat is a pretty good size. And that slides back in there. And I use the tab punch for my little tabs here. And then on the back, I use another one of the ticket shapes. And then also, I again use the combo stamp. I think this is the, this is also the large one and add another little flower so i hope you like my project i think this is a really neat idea that laura came up with and i know for sure that i'm going to be making some more of these so thanks for watching have a good day bye